Except for a few years in the middle 90s, uh, real wages on an hourly basis in the United States have been flat since 1973. And that means that for families to raise their standard of living, they have to work more and more hours. You know, we had increased women participation in the workforce, then we had a tremendous number of children moving to the workforce, then we started borrowing money, and then we had the recession. The social ills that come from the flat wages are enormous. Americans work more hours than any other country in the world, even the Japanese. That means hours that we don't spend with our children, uh, mentoring and taking care of them and building relationships with them. It means hours that we don't spend in civic life with our neighbors and our friends and civic organizations and it means a decline in quality of life. And the reason for this, the reason these uh, wages are flat, is because of the decline of the unions. This is one of the reasons why I'm extremely pro-labor. There are abuses, but for every abuse that a labor union has done, I can show you a hundred done by corporate America, Enron, etc. We need to be able to raise hourly wages in the United States so that people can spend time with their kids and the unions are a strong part of being able to do this.